Welcome to my latest case, Danger on Deception Island. To learn how to play, choose Gameplay Overview. When you're ready to start the game, choose either Junior or Senior Detective. Dear Ned, here I am on a ferry bound for Deception Island, one of the San Juan Islands off the coast of Washington State. George's friend, Katie Firestone, is expecting me. Katie's a marine biologist who's doing research into deep water parasitic growth. She also owns a whale watching boat and takes tours out practically every day. I should be excited, but for some reason I feel on edge, like something's out of whack. Maybe it's because George and Beth arranged this little vacation for me, and sometimes their plans don't work out so well. Or maybe it's because we're about to dock at a place called Snake Horse Harbor. Kind of a creepy name for a town, don't you think? Or maybe it's because I haven't been on vacation for so long that I've forgotten how to relax. Anyway, we're here. It's not raining, but it's not sunny either. It's just kind of gray. Maybe that's why I feel so strange. Every year's Nancy. Katie? Hi, you must be Nancy. I'm Katie Firestone. Come on, I'll take you down to the boat. Great timing, huh? I just got back from getting some groceries. George could not have picked a better time to arrange for you to come out here. Just last week, this orca showed up in the channel, and now it... Oh my gosh, what happened? Someone tore the place apart. The engine's a mess, parts are missing, others are damaged. Why would somebody do this? Are you going to be able to fix it? I better be able to. I can't afford to pay someone else to do it. And if I end up having to replace a lot of parts, I don't know what I'm going to do. Want me to help you? Look, you're on vacation. Just go relax. Or bike into town. Or, or take my kayak out. It's at the end of the dock. Just always wear your life jacket. And don't go past the channel markers. And if the fog starts coming in, head to shore fast. The fog we get around here is as thick as cotton. And never go out without a GPS. That's a global positioning system. Mine's somewhere around here. Anyway, your bunk's the empty one below. Why don't you go unpack? Wonder what's in here? Laptop. Good thing I recharged my batteries. Cool. If I have to do research on anything, I can use this. Okay, if I use your microscope? Sure, go ahead. Apparently our 
saboteur took all the books out of the drawer up here. Must have been looking for something. Want me to put them away? If you could put them back in the drawer for me, that would be awesome. Okay, what's the best way to get all these in here with no space left over? Complex morphological issues, microscopic tracheid analysis, microtome surfacing? of a sandwich if I don't put something in it. Hmm. It looks like whoever damaged your engine did something to your faucet too. It'd be great if you could fix it. The pipes are in the cabinet under the sink. At least the person who messed up the faucet left all the pipes here. I hope. This goes here. This goes here. This goes here. That doesn't go there. That doesn't go there. This goes here. This goes here. This goes here. The pipe's all fixed. I'll turn the water back on. Hmm, there was something under the pipes. doesn't look so hot. This note wasn't here before, was it? No, whoever messed up my boat must have written it. You know, Nancy, for what it's worth, I shot my mouth off pretty good at the town meeting last night. What do you mean? This orca, this killer whale? showed up in the channel about a week ago and has been hanging around here ever since all by itself. She was getting way too close to boats, so I called the National Marines Fisheries Service. They made some recordings and did some tests and are analyzing them. In the meantime, they ordered all boats to stay at least 300 feet away from her or risk paying a thousand dollar fine. That's what the meeting last night was about. I take it not everyone agrees? The people that fish for a living sure don't. They're steering clear of the whale by taking the long way around the island to get out to sea, which costs them time and fuel. Some people say she should be captured and towed out to sea. And what do you say? I agree with the no-boat zone. I also think that if she's found to be sick, 
She should be shipped to a research facility for treatment, not returned to her pod. I said as much last night, only much more strongly. Who's Andy Jason? Andy does whale watching tours too. If I had a dollar for every time he's come here trying to talk me into selling out to him, I wouldn't be fixing this engine. I'd be buying a new one. I'm afraid whoever tore up your boat also wrecked your GPS device. Oh, no. It'd be a shame for you not to go kayaking. I know. Bike to the Hot Kettle Cafe and see if Holt Scotto will let you borrow a GPS from him. Do you want me to call the sheriff for you? Actually, I'd rather not get the sheriff involved. The insurance company would raise my rates and I just can't afford that. Besides, I've got my very own private detective now. You. See you in a bit. Have fun. A paper inside. Maybe it's a message. That's odd. Well, well, looks like Snake Horse Harbor's got itself a newcomer. I'm visiting Katie Firestone. My name's Nancy Drew. Well, now, why would you want to do a thing like that? Call myself Nancy Drew? Or visit Katie Firestone? Well, you're not one of them save the whale and uh, heck with everybody else crusader types like she is, are you? I... I'm just here on vacation. Her true colors came out real clear last night. Us fishermen don't count. All that matters is rescuing that poor, precious orca out there. To heck with people trying to make a living. Of course, is the way she makes her living being hurt by that whale? Why, no. Her business is booming. Now, ain't that the oddest thing? Her boat was ransacked this morning. She ticked off a lot of people last night. That's what she gets for being so meddlesome. Anyway, welcome to Snake Horse Harbor, home of Cadborosaurus. That's how this place got its name, you know. Who's Cadborosaurus? Well, that's the sea monster Native Americans used to see out in the channel ever so often. Called it the snake horse. Had the head of a horse and the body of a giant snake. People on Vancouver Island started calling it Cadborosaurus after it or one of its relatives was seen a couple of times at Cadbora Bay. They call it Caddy for short. Is it a friendly sea monster? Back in the late 1800s, he took the rap for a lot of hoodoo around here. Fog would roll in at night, and men would just vanish. It was a snake horse, people would say. <laughs> Little did they know. Why do you think they vanished? Well, they'd been Shanghai. See, a bunch of establishments in town had secret panels built right into the walls. Guy'd be having a drink one minute, and next minute he'd be clobbered over the head, whisked into a secret passageway, and taken out to a ship waiting in the harbor. But he'd wake up on the high seas and discover that if he wanted to survive, he'd better do what the captain ordered. No matter what he was before, he was now a sailor. It was a cheap way for captains to get crews back then, and an easy way for some of the town's citizens to make money. Did you say you were a fisherman? Fourth generation. I fished every ocean for just about every fish you can make money fishing for. Lived here for the last 11 years. Are you retired? Fishermen never retire, young lady. After all, what would we do? Go fishing? <laughs> Only reason I'm not out there right now is because I've been in and out of campaign meetings since 8 this morning. You're running for office? I think it's high time people around here started doing what makes sense instead of doing what's politically correct all the time. Harbor Master, we got now. Bends over backwards so far for the environmentalists, it's a wonder he can still walk upright. Whoever trashed Katie's boat also ruined her GPS. Oh, now that's a shame. Thing is, I'd like to go kayaking while I'm here, only I can't without a GPS. Oh, now that really is a shame. Tell you what, I got a spare right here in my duffel. You know what else I got in my duffel? I have no idea. This is a little seamanship quiz I whipped up. I'm thinking about making people pass it before they're allowed to rent any kind of watercraft once I become harbor master. Here, 
The idea is to cut down on having to rescue people who got no business being out on the water in the first place. Trouble is, nobody's actually taken it yet. I need a guinea pig. You mean, if I take the quiz, you'll let me borrow the GPS? If you pass the quiz, the GPS is yours. You'll need that container for the last question. See you around. Watch out for Caddy. What can I get for you, Nancy? Well, for starters, you could tell me your name. Jenna Devlin. Sorry. My aunt didn't warn me when she left me this place that I'd be inheriting her knack for eavesdropping, too. So you own this cafe? Aunt Iris left it to me three years ago. It's been in the Devlin family since the day it was built, which was back in, like, 1866 or something. So, you're visiting Katie Firestone. My condolences. What do you mean? Me and her don't see eye to eye on a couple of things. You mean, like the whale? That orca out there should be rejoined with her pod as soon as possible. Period. End of story. No matter what Miss Fancy Schmancy science degree says, other people may be bamboozled by all her talk of data charts and field tests and monitoring whatnots, but not me. The only thing she wants is to get that whale into an aquarium. It wouldn't surprise me if Katie's been secretly feeding it. Which is against the law, by the way. And you know what else? It wouldn't surprise me if she trashed her own boat because she knew that after that meeting last night, everybody would assume that Holt did it and not want to vote for him. I got an idea. Let's change the subject. Does Andy Jason ever come in here? Everybody comes in here. Know how some people can't go a day without coffee? People around here can't go a day without a bowl of my clam chowder. In fact, if you ever want a free sample, just say the word. So, Andy Jason is one of your regulars? Actually, he only comes in once or twice a week. Says he's too busy. Of Course, the reason he's so busy is because he's too cheap to hire another person to help him run the place. Kinda surprised me when I heard he was trying to buy Katie Firestone out. Must have something up his sleeves, all I can figure. What do you know about the shanghaiing that used to go on around here? It never went on, that's what I know shoving grown men into passageways and carting them off to ships never to be seen again? It's just a big, colorful, tall tale. Never happened. Think I could try a bowl of your clam chowder? Coming right up. Next one will be on the house, too. Mmm. Mmm. That was delicious. Here, let me get rid of that for you. It's been fun talking to you. Later, Gator. on sea monsters. Very cool. Hi there. Welcome. What can I do you for? Are you Andy Jason? That's me. How'd you know? I'm Nancy Drew. I'm a friend of Katie Firestone's. I saw your business card on her boat. Nice to meet you, Nancy. Any friend of Katie's is a friend of mine. So you consider yourself to be a friend of Katie's? I like to think we're friends, or that we could be friends if she'd just be reasonable. 
You mean if she'd just accept your offer? I'm offering her the deal of a lifetime. She'd make more money, she'd have more free time. I mean, look at this place. I run a first-class operation. It's my mission to see that everyone who comes to Snake Horse Harbor leaves with a greater appreciation for marine mammals. And if I make a buck in the process, that's cool too. Someone ransacked Katie's boat while she was in town this morning. Made a real mess. Hmm. Wonder if it's related to those burglaries. What burglaries? A bunch of stuff was stolen from two shops earlier this week. Food, tools, clothing, electronics. There was no sign of forced entry, no trace of who did it. Sheriff's still scratching his head. Why do you want to buy Katie out? She can't be taking that many customers away from you. I don't like her taking any customers away from me. And frankly, with this whale doing its orphan thing out there, I'm losing a lot of customers to her. Isn't the whale just as good for your business as it is for hers? Katie convinced the fishery service that she should be allowed to monitor the orca's condition, which means she can get right up next to the whale while my boat has to stay away. Whoever ransacked Katie's boat tore a bunch of parts out of her engine. It's like they wanted to make sure she couldn't go anywhere for a while. That's too bad. In a way, it's kind of good. I mean, for you at least. Very true. As long as her boat's out of commission, I'll get all her customers. What do you think should be done with the orca out there? Nothing. I think people should just leave it alone. I mean, why do we humans always think we know best? We can barely deal with ourselves, let alone a whole other species. Thanks for your time. Whales rule! This broke off from a ship. There's something in that bottle, but it's stuck on those rocks. Looks right. Perfect. Good. Yes. Correct. Am 
I smarter what? Very good. Perfect. That should do it. I have to bring him a male Dungeness crab. What do you think you're doing? Those signs over there say no trespassing, which means keep out. Which means you, girly. Girly? Leave. But I just... Now. Anagram Buster. If I come across letters that need unscrambling, I'll be all set. No anagrams that need busting yet. Looks like whatever's in here is starting to defrost. before I go looking at the slides in there. One glass slide. There. This is going to look so cool under the microscope. Let's have a look. Too cool. What's up? Sounds like Holt Scotto was one of the people who didn't care for what you had to say last night. He and I never see eye to eye. Now, if I were a fisherman, I'd be right as rain no matter what nonsense came out of my mouth. Fine harbor master he'd make. I talked to Jenna Deblin when I was at the hot kettle. What nasty rumor is she spreading about me today? Do you two not like each other or something? She doesn't like me, that's for sure. She thinks I'm a know-it-all from the big city. I found this piece of wood on the beach. There's something strange about it. What do you mean? Let's see it. Ouch, those splinters are sharp. That is odd. It looks like it's been in the water a long time, but if that were the case, those edges would be dull. 
That looks like it broke off of something just recently. That's exactly what I was thinking. Any idea where it came from? Could be off a cargo ship, I guess. But you know who you should ask? Casey Porterfield. He works at the Maritime Library in Port Townsend. You should give him a call. His number is 360-555-3095. He loves checking out stuff like this. See you in a bit. Be careful out there. Maritime Library, this is Casey. Hi, my name is Nancy Drew. Katie Firestone suggested I give you a call. Katie who? Katie Firestone. Never heard of her. Oh. I know a marine biologist named Katie Firestone. Yes, that's her. I'm staying with her here in Snake Horse Harbor. Oh, well, then what can I do for you? She said you might be able to help me identify the ship that this piece of plywood I found on the beach came from. How do you know it came from a ship? Because it says SS on it. The rest of the name is missing. Doesn't mean anything. Now, if it said SS, which stands for steamship, that'd be different. Uh, actually, that is what it says. Oh, well, then it came from a ship. Or should I say shipwreck? What kind of wood is it? Plywood? You're about as much use as a beanie in a hurricane. Look, if you want me to tell you what shipwreck that wood came from, you're gonna have to tell me what kind of wood it is. But I have no idea. Well, you just get yourself a book on wood and figure it out. Maybe Katie has one. Soon as you do, call me back. I love checking out stuff like this. This is Dr. Preduvicu. Hi, my name is Nancy Drew, and I'd like some help identifying this piece of wood I found. I'd be happy to assist. Do you have our mailing address? Well, that's the problem. I don't have time to send it to you. Would it be possible to identify it over the phone? Certainly. Just hold it up to the phone for a couple of seconds and I'll take a reading. I'm kidding, of course. I usually don't do this over the phone, but I'll give it a try. You will, however, need to take a look at your sample under a microscope. I already did that. And are you near the sample, in case you need to refer back to it? Uh, let me get over there, and I'll call you back. Irina Preduvicu speaking. Hi, this is Nancy Drew again. I've got the sample all ready. All right, we'll get started. Where did you find this wood? It's a piece of driftwood, probably used for a crate. Is the wood sample black, brown, or yellow? Brownish. Brown brown or brown reddish? Brown reddish. Does the sample have many holes, just a couple, or none at all? Many. And are there some holes that are big and some that are small, or are they all the same size? They're all the same size. Okay. And the holes are really, really tiny, right? No, they're pretty sizable. Then you've got a tropical hardwood. I was assuming the sample was a North American wood. All right. Are there any distinguishable horizontal lines on the sample? Yes, there are horizontal lines. If this wood is used for creating, then it's probably Luan. It's fairly common in plywood, but it's a rainforest timber, so it's declining in popularity. Luan, all right. Thanks for your help. Glad to have been of service. Maritime Library, this is Casey. Hi, this is Nancy Drew. I called before. About the driftwood? Never heard of you. Now, if you'd have said Nancy Drew... Yes, that's me, Nancy Drew, Katie Firestone's friend. So what kind of wood are we talking about here, Nancy? Luan. Well, if that driftwood did come from a cargo container that's part of a shipwreck, there's a good chance I can figure out which one. Call me back in an hour or so. You can identify a ship by what its cargo containers are made out of? Ever since the hobo spider got into the U.S. by laying eggs in the wood crating of ships coming from Europe, the feds have made sure that cargo ships keep real careful records. Of course, I'll be taking things like tides, currents, weather conditions, proximity to Snake Horse Harbor. I'll be taking all those factors into consideration, too. 
I really appreciate your doing this for me, Casey. And well, you should. You again? I'm sorry for trespassing like that. So what do you want? I finished that seamanship quiz. Let's have a look. Right as rain. Just bring me that male crab and you'll be home free. I've got a male crab, I think. Let's have a look. Right as rain. Congratulations. Here's your GPS. Just turn around and follow the instructions. I'll take care of the crab for you. Great. Thank you. See you around. Watch out for Caddy. I better stay away from there. go past them. what all those letters mean, but something tells me this may come in handy.
Send me something from the top of the lighthouse in Morse code? Something is fishy in Snake Horse Harbor. This is the weirdest story I've ever read. So far, so good. I don't know. I don't know. I'm getting there. Ta da! Ask H S A J J D for Hilda's gift. You again? I understand that Hilda Swenson gave you something? So what if she did? I was hoping I could take a look at it. <laughs> you sure are a demanding little thing, ain't you? But tell you what, this chess problem I've been working on is giving me fits. Here, solve it for me, and I'll let you see what Hilda gave me. Feel free to look at the chess book in my duffel bag if you need help. Let me know when you're through. Hi, Nancy. How's it going? What can you tell me about Hilda Swenson? She was this lady who retired here with her husband about 20 years ago. They made a ton of money in Hollywood as writer-producers and just wanted to enjoy life. Wonderful people. Very active. In fact, Hilda was mayor for eight years. But then, out of the blue, her husband died. They'd been a team for so long that, well, she pretty much died then, too. What do you mean? She just kind of lost it. Started talking to walls and doing bizarre things until one day she rode to the island across the channel that she and her husband owned and never came back. Are you sure she's still alive? I leave a couple of bags of groceries outside her cabin every week and sometimes I can see her inside. But whenever I try to talk to her, she won't answer. Did she ever leave anything behind that might help decode her messages? She left everything behind. Problem is, it's all been sold, given away, or thrown out. We'll never know what's going on in that mind of hers. Did Hilda Swenson give you something? She made a necklace for me. Prettiest thing I own. I'd show it to you, but it's at my house. How did you know she gave me something? It's kind of a long story but I'd really love to see that necklace. Problem is, my home's across town and I'm real low on clams, which means I've got to go clamming before I can even think about doing anything else. Why don't I go clamming for you? Okay, if you get the clams, I'll go get the necklace. You can put them in here. Fifteen ought to do it. That's the limit anyway. But you'll also need a permit. Andy Jason can issue you one. You know, your clam chowder really is awesome. Say no more. Next one will be on the house, too. Mm-hmm. Mmm. -hmm. That was delicious. Here, let me get rid of that for you. It's been fun talking to you. Yeah, hasn't it though? <coughs> Good.
Correct. Rook moves to h5. So black would move here. Perfect. Yes. There. Checkmate. Done with that chess problem yet? Got it right here. Right as rain. And to keep up my end of the bargain, here's what Hilda gave me. Handles made of scrimshaw. She carved it herself. Never would tell me why she wrote one bum on it like that. Of course, this was after her husband died. Guess her mind was starting to go. Thanks for letting me see it. See you around. Vote for Hope. Spread the word. Hi, Nancy. I need a clamming permit. Jenna said I could get one from you? Ordinarily you could, but permits mean paperwork, and I'm kind of busy right now. Of course, if someone wanted to volunteer to help me... You just got yourself a volunteer. Inside that box marked Caddy is a miniature of what our resident sea monster might look like in skeletal form. Assemble it for me, and I'll not only give you a permit, but I'll throw in a free clam tube. And remember, whales rule! Nah. Oh yeah. Nah. Hmm. Bingo. Nah. Hmm. Oh, yeah. Bingo. Oh, yeah. Good. Good. Nah. Bingo. Bingo. Good. Good. Hmm. Nah. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Wow, am I a creative genius or what? Hi, Nancy. I finished putting that display together. So you did. Caddy never looked better. Here's your permit, and here's your clam tube. Look for little holes in the sand. Sometimes water will squirt out of them. Anyway, center the tube over the hole, push it down into the sand, and pull. If you're quick enough, the clam will be in the sand that comes out of the tube. If not, Try, try again. I understand that Hilda Swenson gave you a present? She gave me the design I used to create the keychains I give away to everyone who goes on a Whale World Whale Watch. She was quite the graphic artist. May I see the design? Sure. If you go on a Whale Watch. Thanks for your time. My pleasure. Looks like I need a key card to play. Hi, Nancy. I'd like to play the games in your center, but it looks like I need some kind of key card. Here you go. This will activate all the games. It will also keep track of what games you've won, and it'll let you play all the games as many times as you want. Thanks for your time. My pleasure.
Throughout the center, you've been able to hear the sounds different cetaceans make. To see just how good your memory is, press a button, listen to the sound that plays, then press the button of the cetacean that made the sound. If you've made a correct match, the button lights will stay on. When all the buttons are lit, you've matched them all. tour. All right! Hi, Nancy. I won a free whale watching tour. Well, congratulations. I'll give you an exclusive tour. Just be you and me. Sounds great. <laughs> Thank you for the great tour and for letting me use your camera. My pleasure. Since I took your whale watching tour, I get a free keychain, right? Actually, I only give them to paying customers. Even if I really, really, really want one? Okay, okay. Thanks for your time. Have a good one. Trin, wonder what that means.
five down, ten to go.
plans. I'm all set. Hi, Nancy. Oh, good, you got the clams. Let me take those from you. I'll take that clam tube off your hands, too. You'll never guess what happened. While I was home getting that necklace for you, somebody broke in here. The sheriff just left. Really? Was anything stolen? What's weird is I'm not only missing food, like bread and eggs and stuff like that, but it looks like they also stole a bunch of tools and some boat parts. Boat parts? Go figure. What's more, both doors were locked when I got here and none of the windows were broken. It's like a ghost did it. Would it be okay if I looked around? If you want to play detective, please be my guest. If you have any questions, just holler. Match pairs across all three screens. of word is that? Looks like you do a lot of shopping at Save King. I do all my shopping at Save King. Not all of them open. A royal flush. Nothing behind this one.
made a royal flush. That's strange. That's strange. Nothing behind this one. Nothing behind this one. What was that? I bet that's how those burglars got in here. I can't see a thing. I'm gonna need a flashlight. Hi Nancy, how's it going? Do you have a flashlight I could borrow? Sorry. It's been fun talking to you. Yeah, hasn't it though? my handy dandy anagram buster to figure out what those strange words on Hilda's gifts mean. Hey, what's going on? Sounds like you're making progress. I'm getting there. I remembered that a friend of mine had stashed some boat parts in my storage locker. Would you by any chance have a flashlight? I have a headlamp. I mean, I have one somewhere. I'm sorry, Nancy. I'm so hungry I can hardly see straight, let alone think straight. Would you like a sandwich? That would be awesome. Here's a sandwich for you. Great. Here you go. Mmm, I'm starving. That was fabulous. Thank you. Okay, you wanted my headlamp. Where's my headlamp? Oh my gosh. It was right here in the engine compartment the whole time. See you in a bit. Enjoy. Hello? Hey, Bess. It's me. Hey, how's it going? Grab the phone. It's Nancy. While George picks up, I'm going to turn down the heat under my roux. Under your what? Hey, Nance. So, how's your vacation going? Fine. Except for the fact that just before I arrived, someone vandalized Katie's boat. What? Don't worry. We're both fine. 
The engine of the boat was damaged, but Katie's working on it. Why would somebody do something like that? Uh-oh. I bet it's got something to do with that orphan killer whale. You know about that? Katie told us about the whale when we called to tell her you were on your way. Someone vandalized Katie's boat because of a whale? Because of Katie's opinion as to what to do with a whale, which she expressed very loudly in front of a lot of people last night. Katie does have a mouth on her, especially when the subject is marine life. Did they find any fingerprints? Katie wouldn't let me call the sheriff. Why not? She said she was afraid her insurance company would raise her rates. Well, she doesn't have much money, I can tell you that. Uh-oh, Bess, is that supposed to be smoking like that? Oh, no! Darn it! Darn what? My roux. It's ruined. Oh, no. She wrecked her roux. It's not funny, George. Yes, it is, Bess. What's a roux? A carefully heated mixture of flour and butter. I was going to use it to thicken my gumbo. You're cooking something? She's hooked on this cooking show called Beasting for Fitness. Let me guess. It's hosted by a guy, and he's very cute. That happens to be true, but I watch it because I like his philosophy. Eat in moderation and eat only that which is made out of fresh ingredients and cooked with great skill, care, and judgment. When did all this start? Two days ago. Yesterday she cooked, or should I say ruined, crepes. They weren't ruined. I mean, you could still eat parts of them. Anyway, I want to hear what you're doing, Nance. Holt Scotto caught me poking around the lighthouse and freaked. He all but chased me away with a stick. Why should he care if you poke around the lighthouse? Good question. The obvious answer is that he's hiding something. One should always be suspicious of a suspect. Right. I can't figure out if Andy Jason is friendly for real or if it's because he's basically a salesman. What does he sell? Whale watching tours. He keeps trying to talk Katie into selling her company to him and becoming his business partner. Think he wrecked her boat so she'd have to go into business with him? Could be. Katie is allowed to get right up next to the orca while he has to stay 300 feet away. He doesn't like that. I wouldn't trust him, Nan. Once a salesman, always a salesman. Remember my neighbor, Ray Olaf? He was a salesman, but he quit. Yeah, to go to work for a company that repossesses pets when people can't pay their vet bills. She's right. Don't trust him. I found a letter buried in a box on the beach. It was written by this supposedly crazy woman named Hilda. What do you mean, supposedly crazy? Well, I was told that she went a little wacky after her husband died and became a hermit. But her letter actually made sense. What did it say? She wants me to send her something from the top of the lighthouse in Morse code. I hate to burst your bubble, but she sounds way wacky to me. Well, eccentric, maybe. No, we're talking Liberty Bell here, Nance. The woman is cracked. Be careful. I better get going. See ya. Hasta la pasta. Ten penny nails, thank you very much. Awesome. Another cairn. Another cairn. Another cairn. Glad I'm wearing comfortable shoes, because it looks like I'm going to be doing a lot of walking. Whew, I think 
feel like I've walked for miles. Dead end. That sound. Where have I heard that sound before? There's obviously more to this, like the other half of the picture. Nancy, how's it going? Did you know that there's a trap door in the floor of your banquet room? A trap door? No. Where does it go? It drops down into a tunnel, and when I explored it, I found trap doors going up into two other shops. A tunnel? I don't know anything about it. It's probably how those burglars got in and out. Look, tunnels are dangerous. I don't want you going down there anymore. Oh no, I'll be fine. I mean it. Just forget about this whole thing. Only if you call the sheriff and tell him about it. No! Okay, look. I guess if you're real careful, you can keep poking around down there. But I don't want you telling anybody else about that tunnel without coming to me first. I got my reasons. I've also got work to do. Close.
three, five, 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 four, three, nine, nine. Hello? Hello, Nancy. Hilda here. Hilda? Hilda Swenson? Easy, girl. Not like you're talking to the Queen of England or anything. Although I did meet her once. Stuffy lot, those Windsors. How did you know my name? Where there's a will and a satellite internet connection, there's always a way. What's the other secret you said you had? Patience. As in all good films, all will eventually be revealed. In the meantime, I've sent you an email. Read it, follow the instructions, and we'll do lunch. That'd be great! No, no, no. It's just an expression, dear. No one in Hollywood ever really has lunch when they say they're going to do lunch. Oh. I'll be in touch. And rest assured, I'll be watching. Which reminds me, someone's been up in the lighthouse. I couldn't see who. I hope they aren't doing any damage. They did leave kind of a mess. We really must put a stop to this, Nancy. Ciao! Hello? Hello, Nancy. I commend your ability to take direction and to follow through. You're definitely a cut above. And for that, you've just been rewarded. You're watching me? Right now? I told you I would be. I always keep my word, Nancy. I think it's the least human beings can do for each other. Now, here's your next mission. Listen carefully. I hope you like poems. <clears throat> Below ground is a rock with a strange anvil look. When you're near it, behold what's above. Letters found at the beach will put a new spot in reach. Letters only a sailor could love. Oh, my apologies, dear. I'm many things, but I'm afraid I'm not much of a poet. Do you watch everyone in Snake Horse Harbor? Is that how you know something fishy is going on? I'm a very curious person. I like to know things. Let's just leave it at that. Ah, let's see, where was I? Ah. The device you just found, it'll come in handy when you get where you're going after you've gone where my poem takes you. Goodbye, Nancy. Oh, no, please don't hang up. I've got so many questions.
goes to another tunnel. More coordinates. I should have known. Oh, I hope not. I'd really like to meet you. I'm afraid that's not going to happen. So, here you are in the whole stretch. What if I told you that I'm not going to do anything else until you tell me why this is so important to you? Okay, look. When I made my exit from Snake Horse Harbor, I left everything behind. You know, to kind of prove that I'd lost all my marbles. Problem is, I left behind something that I realize now I should have taken with me. My notebook on Benjamin Hawkins. Someone has obviously found it and is misusing it. See, my husband and I explored every inch of land in, around, and under Snake Horse Harbor. What we discovered, and we discovered everything, we wrote down in that notebook. So this fishy thing that's going on, you feel like it's your fault. Precisely. So, use what I just gave you and take a look at the boat and the bottle that Andy has. A really good look. When the time comes, you'll know what to do with what you see. 
One more thing. Why do you want everyone to think you're crazy when you're obviously not? Oh, Nancy. After my husband died, I just got bored. I love the sand ones, but the people of Snake Horse Harbor, I got tired of them. So I moved across the channel, and to make sure people left me alone... You pretended to be nuts. But then I got to thinking that it might be a good idea to make contact with someone trustworthy, just in case. Hence the messages in the bottle. Now, get going before it's too late. And what I just told you, keep it to yourself, okay? Sure. So you won't be calling me anymore? No. This, as they say in the business, is a wrap. Well, I've enjoyed knowing you. And I you. Thank you, Nancy. Goodbye, Hilda. Maritime Library, this is Casey. Hi, this is Nancy Drew. Any luck finding what shipwreck that piece of driftwood came from? Sorry, can't talk now. I'm waiting for a real important call from Nancy Drew. Casey, that's me. I'm Nancy Drew. Oh, then I got some good news. You know the name of the shipwreck? The SS Whitechapel Dawn. Sank five years ago right there in the channel outside Snake Horse Harbor. About a mile and a half due northwest of the lighthouse. Really? I hear that channel up there's been pretty busy, what with that orphaned whale messing things up for the fishermen and all. Anyway, everything fits except one thing. Uh-oh. The Whitechapel Dawn went down in deep water. Real deep water. Too deep for currents to be carrying debris up from it. Just not possible. What about volcanic activity? Maybe it sank on top of an undersea vent or something. I have been doing this type of research for 20 years, young lady. When I say something's not possible, it's not possible. Yet somehow a piece of wood from it washed ashore. What kind of ship was the Whitechapel Dawn? It was just a regular old freighter bound for San Francisco from Vancouver, British Columbia. Nothing unusual about it if you don't count the rumors. What rumors? How about the smuggling? The ship was smuggling something? After it sank, some crew members said there was something unusual about the cargo it had been carrying. That's all. No specifics. Just rumors. How many people went down with the ship? Zero. Everybody managed to survive. Official cause was foul weather. But whenever a boat goes down in those parts, they always unofficially blame it on... Oh, what do they call that sea serpent up there? Caddy? No, thanks. Caddy! That's what they call it! Caddy! Anyway, this has been fun, young lady, but I need to get back to work. Uh, by the way, I just got done emailing you something. What? I said, I just got done emailing you something. Great, thanks. Well, goodbye, Casey. Goodbye, Caddy. I certainly hope he doesn't operate heavy machinery. What's up? See you in a bit. Have fun. That 
It's a beauty. There are some kind of symbols on those sails. Hi, Nancy. That boat in a bottle you have is fascinating. It was made by one of the first non-Native Americans to settle here, a guy named Benjamin Hawkins. I bought it from this lady who kind of went bonkers after her husband died. You mean Hilda Swenson? That's the one. Gave away everything she owned, moved to this tiny island across the channel, and went certifiably nuts. Which is too bad. She was a nice lady. Someone broke into the hot kettle today. No kidding. Wow, that's the third one this week. Apparently all they took was food and boat parts. Sounds a lot like those two other burglaries. Thanks for your time. My pleasure. Frank, it's Nancy. Hey, Joe, lock her up and then get to a phone. It's Nancy. He's locking someone up? Goldie, she's not a someone. She's a something. Hey, Nancy, how's life in the Pacific Northwest? Well, someone ransacked Katie's boat just before I arrived. Wow, that's great. It is? No, it's not, Joe. Yes, it is. Not for Katie, of course. I mean for Nancy. She's got a mystery to solve. She's supposed to be on vacation? Crime never takes a vacation, Frank. <laughs> Let me guess, that was Goldie. Bingo. She's this dog we found. We're waiting for her owner to come get her. That's nice of you guys. Well, unfortunately, there's a problem. She eats a lot and she's not housebroken. She's as big as an SUV. Fully loaded. She's in the garage. I'm upstairs. That's how big her bark is, so you can imagine how big she is. Was there a reward out for her? That's the good news. We're talking triple digits. Wow! Enough about us. Let's hear what you've been up to, Nancy. To get around on the water in Katie's kayak, I've been using a GPS. A global positioning system? Cool! If you have the coordinates for a specific place, you just enter them and it shows up on the display screen, right? That's right. In fact, I did just that and found a box someone buried on this secluded beach. You found a geocache. 
I hear that using GPS units to track down stuff that other people have hidden is a hobby for some people. That sounds cool. Sure does. In fact, a GPS would make a great gift, don't you think, Nancy? For, like, say, a big brother to give his little brother for, like, say, his upcoming birthday? That probably depends on the big brother. And on what the little brother has done for him lately. Always a catch. Talk to you later. Call us any time. Yeah, it's a pretty sure bet we'll be here. silly here, so we thought we'd give you a call. What's going on? Great timing, you guys. You will not believe what I just discovered. What? Tell us. For one thing, that orca that's been causing all the trouble around here, it's not wild at all. It's been trained. How do you know? Because I played fetch with it. I'd toss something into the water, and it would use its head to kind of bonk it back to me. Maybe it just picked that up on its own. No, see, I found this hidden sea cave, and in it was this harness-type thing like the military uses on the orcas that it trains. So what do you think it's been trained for? In the cave, there were also some cargo containers. They were from the Whitechapel Dawn. You think somebody trained the orca to retrieve containers from that shipwreck? Casey the librarian did say the ship could have been smuggling something, and people don't usually bother smuggling something unless it's valuable. Who trained it? That's what I want to know. Well, in that hidden sea cave, I came across something else. What? A pair of work gloves. They had Katie's name on them. Oh my gosh, Katie's behind all this? Not necessarily. Those gloves may have been stolen from her. Have you asked her about them? Not yet. I'm on my way to do that right now. Well, get going and let us know what she says as soon as she says it. I will. Again? I need a favor. I need you to take me out on your boat. Right now? What for? Well, it's a long story, but Katie Firestone may or may not be involved in something illegal. I'm not taking my boat out now. It's almost dark. Just call the Coast Guard. They won't do anything. I don't have proof. Look, I'm not going anywhere. And if you know what's good for you, neither are you. Just forget it. I heard everything you told Holt. Believe me, there's nothing I'd like better than to help you get the goods on Ms. High and Mighty. But I got a cafe to run. Try Andy Jason.
Hi, Nancy. I was hoping you could help me. I was just about to close up shop, but what do you need? It turns out that Katie's been feeding the orca. You're kidding me. I'd really like to talk to her about that and some other stuff, but she and her boat are gone, although I have an idea where she went. And you'd like me to give you a ride? Just part way. I'd like to try to sneak up on her. Sneak up on her? I need you to take me out one and a half miles due northwest of the lighthouse. Please, this is really important. I can explain on the way. Oh, man. You've got me so curious, there's no way I can say no. You just got yourself a boat ride. Be careful. I'll be waiting right here. Launch just brought in the last of the stuff that was stored in the sea cave. Another hour, and we'll be out of here. If the crew sees me, I'm done for. What do you eat? Beef jerky. Liberated it from that camping supply place. Want some? Still can't believe you robbed those places. The boss was fit to be tied. Especially after you hit that cafe. Having that tunnel with all those trap doors and nobody suspecting a thing? It was like being a kid with a key to the candy store. I couldn't help myself. I wonder what's in those. Those look like animal furs. Hey, no snoozing. Boss says this Nancy Drew person is a real troublemaker. Like she's gonna show up out here. I'm just telling you what the boss told me. Now keep your eyes open. Where'd you put the notebook? Boss has it. Nice of Hilda Nutjob to leave it behind like that, huh? Couldn't have pulled this off without it, that's for sure. That must be the orca I saw before. Katie? Oh my gosh. Nancy, I was afraid no one would ever find me. What happened? How did you get here? I fixed my boat and went right out to check on the whale. Only the fog was rolling in and it was getting dark. Then I finally saw her, only she was being fed by some men in an outboard. They were putting some sort of harness on her. When they saw me, they rammed my boat, then grabbed me, tied me up and brought me here. I don't know what's going on. I think I do. They're using the whale to bring up smuggled cargo from a shipwreck. Shh! Listen! Someone's coming! Hide! Hide! Well, Katie, you'll be happy to know that your friend Nancy will be joining us any minute. Hey, how'd you get that gag off? Well, it appears she's already here. Alright, where are you? Nancy! If I could make it back to my kayak, I could go get help. Somebody stop her! Oh no! I'm trapped! Well, what do we have here? I knew it was you all along, and I told Holt and Jenna, if anything happens to me, they'll know you did it. Nice try, but I can smell a bluff a mile away. You're about to become the victim of an unfortunate kayaking accident. Or maybe I'll tell my customers that the snake horse got you. Yeah, that's what I'll do. What did you do that for? Say goodnight, Nancy. Nuts. Way to go, buddy!
Nancy Q, are you on board? This is Cole Scott, and I'm here with Coast Guard. Nancy. Dear Ned, I've got to hand it to Andy Jason. The plan he cooked up to recover smuggled animal furs was a darn good one. First, he got himself an orca that the Russians had trained for covert military operations. Then, he made it look like the whale was an orphan, so he could hide her in plain sight while she did his dirty work at night. Then, he and his henchmen disabled Katie's boat to keep her out of their way. They needed work gloves, so they stole hers. In fact, Andy's henchmen couldn't resist using the tunnel they'd found out about in Hilda's notebook to steal practically everything they could get their hands on. But now Andy and his buddies are in jail, Jenna is serving more clam chatter than ever, Katie is planning to vote for Holt after all, the orca is getting along great with a local pod and is rapidly losing interest in humans, and I'm back on the ferry headed home. See you soon, Nancy. P.S. Just before I left, I saw something appear, then quickly disappear in the channel by Katie's boat. She said it was just a log, but I'm pretty sure it was you-know-who saying goodbye. Hey, fellow detective, ever been to a ranch? I haven't, but I've been invited to one. It's in Arizona, and it's called Shadow Ranch, and I can't wait to go. You're invited too, but I should probably warn you, it could be a little dangerous. <laughs>